In this Rank Tracker review, I'm going to be taking you through this SEO platform and all the features and how it all works and basically everything you want to know. And if you are planning on purchasing Rank Tracker, before you do so, they currently have a lifetime deal. Head over to clicky.info slash Rank Tracker or I'll leave a link below for you to go check out the deal. But let me walk you through about what it, Rank Tracker actually is and what you're going to get in the lifetime deal. Rank Tracker will automatically track key keywords on a daily basis and analyze your digital presence for SEO opportunities with in-depth web audits. It's an alternative to SEMrush, Moz and other SEO platforms. It will help you discover the best high traffic keywords for bringing in new site visitors and it's best for SEO agencies, marketers and site owners looking to more effectively incorporate SEO for increased traffic. You can currently get Rank Tracker for $49 and they have a three tier license plan ranging from $49 to $199 but each one giving you lifetime access to the platform. But let me give you a demo of how Rank Tracker works. So the dashboard gives you an overview of what's going on with all your domains and stuff like that. I've only recently added my Marty Englander site to this platform so we're gonna see how it goes over time. All the information you need about your visibility, average position and the general traffic. Then if you scroll down it's gonna give you a website audit and it will give you live notifications about your keyword rankings. Let's head over to the navigation on the left and click on domains. In this section we'll show you a list of all the domains you've added to the platform and adding one is simple by clicking add new tracking and then entering your domain name and clicking next. It will automatically add analyze your website and show all pretty fast keywords that your site's already ranking for. You simply just click the plus sign to add the ones you want. You can upload your own files or add it from a list you've already created inside Rank Tracker, which we'll get to shortly. Then you tell Rank Tracker what location you want to be ranking and checking the rankings for. We're going to go ahead and do United States and United Kingdom. Then you want to tell which search engines you want to be discovered on. So we want to check desktop and mobile for Google and also Google Images and mobile as well. Then click next. You can even add your own competitors. So I'm just going to add youtube.com and click finish. Now you can see there are sub menus here where you've got overview, competitors, pages, metrics and all of this stuff. Let's go back to overview. Scroll down and now you can see each keyword and where it's ranking, the sort of organic positioning, the absolute positioning, the URL and how long ago it was actually updated and then it will show a graph if you want to check that out as well. It will also show you the SERP as well and if you want to you can actually export it to an Excel or CSV document. You can filter it all here. Let's have a look at competition and now you can see where YouTube is ranking for the search terms. You can click on pages and it will show you all the pages which are ranking followed by metrics, grossing. So this is like on a daily, weekly and monthly basis of how it's doing and any keywords it may discover that can help in your geos. So for example, if I wanted to start tracking this keyword in let's say Canada, there's a strong chance that I will show up in position 24. Then we have the SEO and PPC savings. So this will actually show how much money you've saved by using organic traffic versus pay per click traffic and then notifications will just keep you updated with what's going on with each keyword on each platform in each geo on a daily basis. You can also change it from desktop to mobile by these buttons here and you can actually share this page so copy URL. Let's open up Firefox, paste this into Firefox and you can share this with clients or anyone and they don't need to be logged in. If you click go to reports you can create a new report, you can customize each one or add sections if you want. Enter a report name, say how you want it, whether it's PDF or email. Let's just go ahead with PDF. You can even add your own logo here if you want and click preview. Now when we scroll down, it will show you a full blown white labeled PDF report, which is perfect if you're running a digital agency. When you're done, click apply and then you'll be able to log into that and that will set up the daily routines. Next, let's go into keyword finder and it's got four tabs. You've got suggestions, related, ideas and domain. Let's explore each one. Let's say I want suggestions for healthy foods, click search. 
Now on a nice and easy, easy on the eyes format, it shows all the information, you know, including keyword difficulty. And if we select the little magnify icon, it will show you a number which tells you how difficult it is to rank for. And if you're not sure what all of these uh, keywords are at the bottom here, at the top here, just hover over the eye indicator and it will explain what each one means. Filter it by views, KD, cost per click, etc. We can select all of the ones that we want to use for later, add to list, create a list, and do create listing and add keywords. Then over here where it says list, we can click on that and we have our food list there. Next, we have the SERP checker. Enter your keyword like food and press search. This will show all the relevant information. And as you can see, you've got all of your snapshots right here. Moving on to SEO checklist. This will list all of your domains. And then if we click on a website, for example, the this is where Rank Tracker will actually guide you onto doing relevant things to help your SEO and making sure it's all done correctly. And then as you go, you just select tick, 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 etc. Moving on to website audit, Rank Tracker will automatically do an audit of your website and then display general information. So for example, my martyangland.com website is only getting a 59 out of 100 and then it's listing all of the stuff that needs to be addressed. And if we scroll down, it's showing every single issue and not issue, etc, etc. Going back to the dashboard, you can see over time, all of these areas do start populating. Doesn't happen straight away, but that's because it's collecting all the data for you. And if you click on the email at the top, it will show you how many keywords you've got left, how many more competitors you can add, monthly keywords lookups, SERP lookups and monthly difficulty checks. I do hope you enjoyed this rank tracker review. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. Make sure to tap the like button and thank you for watching.